Hello everyone, welcome to BitSheet. This is my first video, so we'll start with the basic programs for the beginner. There are plenty of small easy programs like stopwatch, even slicer, tic tac toe, stopwatch, notepad, and much more. But in this video, I will be showing only five basic programs. If you want more basic program, please comment down below so that I will make another video for it. Before starting, make sure you download the Python 3.7 or 3.8 or the latest version and the IDE software. My favorite IDE is PyCharm. So go to the PyCharm website, link will be in the description and go and download the community version. It's a free version. Download and install it. Before starting the video, please subscribe to my channel for more amazing Python projects. Let's start our first program, YouTube Video Downloader. This program lets you download YouTube videos in high resolution. First, import two libraries, PyTube and Tinkinter. Tinkinter is inbuilt, but to download PyTube, we have to write py pip install PyTube in terminal. Now, create a display window. TK is used to initialize the window. Use geometry to give a size of the window. Use resizable to give a fixed size of the window. Add a title to it. Use label to display text. Give a text, a font, size, it's up to you. Put is the name of the window. Now for entering link. Link is a string type variable that stores YouTube video link. So use entry to enter the link and width to adjust width size of the entry widget. And add a text that to paste your link here and use place to adjust the place of the widget. Use get to get the link from the string. For the highest resolution, use get highest resolution. And to download the video, use video.download. Now add a button, give its font, size, text and a command to download the video. At last use root main loop and execute the program. Copy the video link and paste it over there and press download. It might take some time to download, it depends upon your internet speed. After it gets downloaded, go to the file path where you have saved the program, there the file will be saved. Now let's go to our second program, Tic Tac Toe. First, let's make the game board. The data is stored in a key value format, so we will create a dictionary of length 9 and each number represent a block in the board. And then we will create a function print board which will print every time when we will update the board.
now we will take the input from the player and check the input whether the block that player choose is valid or not or to change the block number We will provide 8 conditions to win the game, whether it's in diagonal, horizontal or vertical winning. Like if the player choose 7, 8, 9 boxes to write the code X, then it wins and the game over. Or if the game count goes to 9, then it's a tie. Then we will ask the player either to restart the game or quit the game. If yes, then we will create a loop. If no, then quit the game. And now we will run the program. Now it's asking to give input for x. Let's write any number from 1 to 9. Then it's asking to give the input for the o. Then we write a number and hence the game goes on like that. Move to a third program stopwatch. We'll start with import the take interim module, then we'll create a run function to run the program. If the count goes to minus one, then it starts, else it goes to the count plus one. create a display function to display start, stop and reset. If it start, the program runs with count minus 1 and the stop and reset are in normal so that it can stop or reset. And then we'll create a stop function to stop the run. Here the stop is disabled and start and reset are in normal. And then restart function to go to the count minus 1 to get started again and here restart is disabled and have a text welcome or else go to start.
create a window, initialize it by TK, give it a title and the size of the windows. Then we'll create a display label. We'll give it a font, size and text. Then we will add three buttons that are start, top and reset button. We will provide its size, font, style and its command to do the task. And last, we will create a main loop. Then we will run the program, we will press start, the count goes 1, 2, then stop and reset. Let's start our fourth program, notepad. Now we will import tick enter, message box and file dialog. Message box is a white space of notepad and file dialog box is to appear while opening file, save, exit, copy paste etc. Now we will create a class. Initialize the windows as TK, give it a name as root, give it size, declare the menu as menu bar in root and file edit help as menu bar and scroll as scroll bar. Then we will give its title, we will give its screen width, height and the geometry of the dialog box. Then the text area and then we will give its label to the file menu, new, open, save and exit. And then for the edit menu, cut, copy, paste. And then for the again, for help menu, help about me. And then we will add the scroll bars to the file, edit and help box. Now we will add a function to each variable. To quit application, destroy root. To show about, display notepad bithead. To open file, to open the text file from the file directory. To open new file, title untitled and new root. To save file, to save the file in text format. To cut, to cut the file text. To copy the text file in the message box. To paste, to paste the text copied in clipboard.
At last, create a main loop, give notepad its width and height and run the program. Your notepad is ready to use. Let's move to our last program calculate. First import tick enter and message box. We will initialize the window as tk, give it size and fixed size and title calculate. We will add a variable for each button, then give its value and operator. We will give operator value as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, ac and result. Now we will add a display box to display the label chosen from button. Then give it size and background color and text color. Then we will add all the buttons. Give its text, font, border, then add its command which we declared in first the variable function. At last we will add a main loop and run the program. Our calculator is ready. I have written all the program details with source code in my website, link is in the description, go and check it.